Welcome back to Ravenous Babble. My name is Dan, and this is box three of my Dust Till Dawn case opening. So far this set has been really fun to open, but we still haven't hit a legendary in this case. And there go my packs falling over. <laughs> Hopefully we can hit a legendary soon. We did manage to hit a marble in box one. Box two is extremely generous when it came to the majestic count. So maybe we can get something nice in box three. Here's to hoping. We're starting this box off with a Hellhammer. Now, it's not a Majestic, but I'm really fond of that card. I really love its design. And next month, we're going to have Cold Foils in our Armory Kits, so hopefully I can get a hold of one of those. And there's Majestic number one of the box, slithering on by. It's a nice Rainbow Foil Slithering Shadowpede. A fairly in-demand card for Shadow Brute, followed quickly by a Flicker Trick, the second Majestic in our box. Another fairly in-demand card. You know, Generic Illusionist only got four cards in this set, which, you know, it's more than most classes, but two of those cards are just really strong cards. Like Flicker Trick, a little conditional, but it's a great D-React, and Lost in Thought, like, the disruption that that card presents is massive. And uh, you can remembrance it back, so if you thought three loss in thoughts was bad, think again. <laughs> Not that I'm speaking from experience. And there's our extended art Herald for the box. A War Tune Herald Yellow. Add that one to the collection. And hey, our third Majestic. A Funeral Moon. The art on that card is actually awesome. And another Majestic. Two Majestics. <laughs> we got a Foil Hold the Line and a Dabble in Darkness. I'm still not sure why that card didn't have Go Again. I mean, it's pretty much Ravenous Rabble, but a Shadow card that blocks for three. Why not give it Go Again? And we're hitting a little bit of duplication, but in the best possible way. So we've got another hold the line. This time it's a non-foil. Honestly, you can't go wrong with having multiple playsets of generic cards that may or may not be considered staples in specific metas. And cards like that all you got, this round's on me, and now hold the line. I do think they fall right into that category, so bring them on. The more the merrier. <laughs> you can see me peeping the cold foiling on this card. And there it is, our cold foil for the box. Cloak of Darkness. What do you guys think about these new common sets, the light set and the shadow set? They seem pretty neat. I know that the shadow hands have found a place in Leviah. It seems pretty good. At the very least, the hands do look really good. Anytime a cold foil has purple on it or blue, mm, chef's kiss. Oh, hey, another extended art herald, this time a herald of rebirth yellow. Seems like they're usually about one in a box, but maybe here and there you can score a second one. And there's another Majestic, Chorus of Iron Song. Probably gonna be a new Dory staple. And <laughs> another Majestic, these things are really uh, sticking together, huh? Figment of Rebirth and Avalon Archangel of Rebirth. And here's our last pack. Can we finally open a Legendary? Ah, uh, well, eight Majestics, two being foil again. Two extended art heralds this time, and a cold foil common. Not a bad haul. There's always box four. See you there. Shout out to the Ravenous Babble patrons who keep the channel going. If you would like to support the channel, head over to patreon.com backslash ravenousbabble and see which tier is best suited for you.